Today we're going to look at a unique DAO tool that's designed for joint management of crypto assets. So this would be good for groups like companies or projects that are looking to invest in decentralized protocols as a joint entity. And that tool is this video sponsor XDAO. So I'm going to do a quick demo going through the platform and explaining how this works. First of all, XDAO is a fully customizable tool and groups of people can use this to easily create a DAO. So think startups, VC funds, foundations whatever. They can manage the assets with voting and multi-sig wallets and sell shares of the DAO with liquidity provider tokens or LPs. They can also interact with DeFi protocols on the DAO's behalf and having smooth and fast connection for doing so is one of the features that XDAO prides themselves on. All this can happen within the platform and there's support for this on a number of different blockchains. So let's head over and launch the app. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect my MetaMask wallet. And now we can see we have a few different options available to us here. We've got the invest tab where you can view different DAOs that have active public offers. So you could purchase their LP token and invest in one of these DAOs. Um, and we'll see more about that here in a moment. There's an ecosystem tab, so you can just search through all the DAOs that have been built on XDAO and view the information and interact with those. Then we have this modules tab. So XDAO uses a modular architecture, and what that means in this case is that these modules are permitted smart contracts that can execute special functions for your DAO. So you can leverage these kind of templates, basically, if you wanted to implement like payment distribution or private exit or something special. And they've got more of these launching soon. So we'll skip real quick over to the connect tab. This right here is a major feature of the platform, okay? Using Wallet Connect, you can connect to DEXs and DeFi protocols directly from your DAO. So you could connect to PancakeSwap and make any swap for another token with your DAO funds. You could use an NFT marketplace and purchase an NFT with DAO funds. So this is where we see the benefit for groups that are looking to collectively invest in DeFi, right? And this is quite a convenient way of doing this compared to some other options. Okay, now that we've seen the high level overview of what we've got here, let's go ahead and create a brand new DAO. I'll just call it test DAO for now. We can see my address here and I'm being allocated a governance token. And if I wanted to add another partner, I could just put their address in right here. Of course, holders of the governance tokens are the ones who are basically the management of the DAO. They're in charge of determining the membership process, managing the financing, voting creation, all that. Once you have a governance token, you can't just transfer it to somebody else. The only way it can be transferred is by going up to a vote and reaching consensus that yes, we want this other individual to have governing rights of this organization. And then right here, we can adjust the quorum, which is the percentage of total votes of governance token holders that has to be met in order for any transaction or action to be executed. So in order for the vote to pass, basically. But I'm just gonna leave that at 51%, so a bare majority. Now, if I go ahead and click create the DAO, I'm on Ethereum right now, so I'm gonna see a pretty hefty gas fee here. I would need to fork over $956 worth of ETH in order to execute this. Now, I don't really wanna do that for our little test DAO here, so thankfully, as we recall, XDAO is available with a nice variety of different blockchains, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose to do this with the Rinkaby test network instead so we don't have to use real funds for this. And just as a reminder, if you're running low, I find at the moment the easiest place to get Rinkaby test ether is from the Chainlink faucet. So let's come back to our test DAO, and now we can just go ahead and create this DAO with a little bit of Rinkaby test ETH. And now our DAO has been created. So we've got a few integrations that we can use here. It's worth noting that XDAO does have a Snapshot API integration. If you're not familiar with Snapshot, it's basically a decentralized voting system that takes place off chain. So you could connect your DAO Snapshot address to a DAO on XDAO and see recent community proposals and stuff like that, which you could then eventually execute with voting on XDAO if you wanted to. But anyway, you can use all these to see analytics about your DAO or customize and add information. And of course you can view on Etherscan. Down here, we can see that I'm the only token holder, so I've currently got 100% of the DAO member shares. So let's say I'm ready to deposit some funds. So I wanna go ahead and create a liquidity provider token. 
The LP token reflects the DAO's assets under management, so the price will be dynamic and changing over time. And anyone can buy this. You don't have to have a governance token in order to purchase the LP token. You don't have to vote on it for it to be transferred or anything like that. It's just a simple ERC-20 token. So you can list it on an exchange. You can even burn it and receive a proportional part of the DAO assets when you're ready to exit if the DAO has been set up that way. So I'll just call this test DAO LP issue LP tokens to sell. And now we're gonna have the option to initialize a public offer. We've also now got LP token minting and burning configuration options in addition to the governance token minting and burning. So for example, let's say we don't wanna allow burning of governance tokens. We can just use this shortcut to disable that option. Boom, it's disabled now. Now let's go ahead and initialize a public offering. Basically we want people to be able to purchase our LP and invest. So this is gonna be an active offer. We'll make it a one-to-one -one rate just for simplicity's sake here. And we'll just paste in the wrapped ETH address and create, and we'll confirm that. And now we can see our public offer. One liquidity provider token is equal to one wrapped ETH. And you can literally just buy it right here. Okay, enter the amount you want and invest. Now, if we navigate back up to the top tab and filter for DAOs with active public offers, we can search for our test DAO and there it is. So people can find it and we could go ahead and invest right here too. And once you start to have those funds deposited, you can go ahead and use that connect feature and be able to use different DeFi protocols and decentralized exchanges and all that to actually invest on behalf of the group. So hopefully this was a helpful little walkthrough. Thank you to the XDAO team for partnering with me on this video. Links for this platform and the documentation will be in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.